activists from around the world were prevented from landing in the Israeli Ben-Gurion airport. The activists were invited by Palestinian groups in a campaign called Welcome to Palestine. This was one of several hundred campaigners heading to Israel this weekend. Jordan was meant to protest Israel's practice of frequently denying the entry of activists and diaspora Palestinians into the occupied territories. As far as Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv, before, according to the group he was with, being arrested with 11 other Russians and put in detention um, for no other crime but to declare that they wanted to visit Palestine. I was in a group of us, we were there trying to get to the West Bank. So you were part of the delegation? Well, we've been invited to take part in various events, cultural events in Bethlehem. We were saying openly at Tel Aviv that that's what we wanted to do. Yeah. Normally you just say you're going to Jerusalem. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we were detained and kept in prison for four nights. We got off the plane and we you know, proceeded to passport control. Handed the passport and uh, why are you visiting Israel? Well, I was actually going on to uh, Bethlehem to a refugee camp there and uh, people invited us for a week of uh, activities, cultural visits. People are coming to protest on violently against an apartheid state, against a siege, against an entire civilian population. People who were, who were on this trip are also people which in their normal life are also concerned about many other causes inside their own country or uh, other injustice in the world and they are not focused on, only on Palestinians. They said, uh, come, come. And I said, where, where are we going? <laughs> And my arms were then grabbed by two uh, border police and uh, I was uh, escorted rather reluctantly, shall I say, out of the room, down some stairs, down two stories, out into the pavement where someone was waiting with handcuffs for me. Click, click. We were then put in this uh, metal box of a, of a lorry and it was absolutely baking hot. It was about 30 degrees at least and uh, we were there for about an hour and a half, two hours. When you go to Tel Aviv and you got deported, no one will know. But because we were a big number, then this attracted attention, and especially because we got refused from our own country. When we got the luggage control with the X-ray, we heard our names being called, and then the guy from the Air France company at the at the border gate said to us, "I'm sorry, but you won't be able to get in the plane. I have your names listed." Il y a une liste noire donc de 342 supposés euh, terroristes, y compris femmes, enfants, euh, etc. How is it possible? I mean, I said we are French citizens. Uh, we can't even travel from Lyon to Paris. Informations sur cette liste que même nous, organisateurs de cette mission en Palestine, nous n'avions pas des numéros de passeport, des dates de naissance que nous n'avions pas, qui forcément a été euh, donné euh, au gouvernement israélien par le gouvernement français. It's difficult to think that police hasn't been some secret services hasn't been involved at all. We, we tried to um, to contact the consulate in uh, Tel Aviv. We said, okay, you, I have, there is nothing we can do, so that's all. <laughs> voilà, je crois que la France devient une colonie uh, israélienne. We were never ever told why we had been um, taken by force from the airport and put in a prison for four nights in my case because they probably couldn't think of any sensible explanation that would stand up in Israeli law or any law. we wanted to show here is that the West Bank is also under blockade. Not the same kind of blockade exactly as Gaza. Gaza is an official, even though illegal. West Bank blockade, nobody knows about it.
Then he's in prison. We had the, uh, the lawyer and the consul coming to see us. The great prison is the West Bank. You cannot receive visitors, at least not openly. You've got to go you know, by, by deceit. Of course, some of some of them, like maybe like me, like like us, we, we went there. So as soon as you've seen what happened, it's difficult not to be even more concerned because you've seen the truth. End this occupation now! Hey, hey, turn around, turn around. Oh, 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 המצב הזה של הכיבוש והאפרטהייד הוא ייגמר, והוא ייגמר בעזרת פעילי סולידריות במקום שהם לא יוכלו לשלוט בעם אחר לעד There's very strong parallels between our situation and the even worse situation in the West Bank, I think. You're captured. It's very hard to move freely around. Uh, you, you've got to sort of grab whatever little tools you have, because you haven't got many non-violent tools, to, to respond to the, the overwhelming force that you're subject to. In my case, you know, I felt hunger strikes seemed to have some effect. A non-violent response, which got some reaction from the prison people and the border police. So the only, how are they supposed to respond? By non-violent means, demonstrations, boycott? protest peacefully against the existence of the wall, which has taken more land away from them. That's all they have, really. There's no way in which they can influence their uh, situation otherwise. We're not pro-Palestinian, we are not like anti-Israelis. I have some friends in Israel. We're just for, for respect of uh, the rights of these people. And also the middle, this Middle East situation is so crucial to the security of the whole world, I think. <laughs>